Hey everybody, it was just recently brought to my attention that there are some people in this industry that believe there's no such thing as full penetration welded bolts. Well, I beg to differ. So let's have a look. We're inside of a Crown Metal Products, 1974 Crown Metal Products 440, right? Well, look at that. Full penetration welded bolts. Not only are they full pen, you can actually say they're like 195, or I'm sorry, 105% pen because, uh, well, there's like a little bubble of weld, like a little fillet weld around every single one of them run in with 6010. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then one could say, well, that's done out of position. Out of position, or in position, rather. Uh, and that it was done overhead. Well, here are all of the, I'm sorry, I keep screwing that up. It was done downhand. Gravity's in your favor. Well, these are all the ones that were done overhead. And you still see perfect little bubbles of weld around all of the bolts. So here's the thing, okay? It's all, it's all relative, right? So can you do full pen bolts? True full pen bolts consistently? Well, yes, of course. It's all in the prep work. So in this instance, the proper uh, AWS standard for uh, prepping a joint like this is an eighth inch root gap with a minimum of a 45 degree angle bevel around the bolt. And you see the results, absolutely full penetration. Um, you know, and, and, and I said I'd circle back around to why 6010, right? Well, 6010 is a root rod for running that root pass, right? That's what most people perceive it as. Once upon a time, there were railroads that actually welded everything with 6010. They'd weld an entire seam, an entire joint out with 6010. Um, I, I personally don't like that. I know some people that still do that. I just, that's not, that's not something I do. Um, you can write a procedure for welding everything out with 7018, but here's the difference. See, 6010 is a digging rod, okay? Imagine 6010 is like you're, you're in, a, in, a, in a little trench in your front yard with a garden hose, with a real nozzle on it that puts out real high velocity. And you can kind of dig into the bottom of the trench, right? Same thing with the, with the metal. If you, if you run into a spot of the, uh, uh, of, of the joint, that's maybe not quite perfectly prepped or something, you know, something got by, whatever. You can sit there and you can dig right through it and you can, you can, you can burn in and achieve 100% penetration. Whereas 7018, it does dig, but it's more like just a hose kind of running open-ended. It, it, it does more to fill than it does to dig. So anyway, proper prep, proper rod, and then a welder that is actually experienced and wants to do it right, because even the best, most experienced people, they, they're, they're not gonna do it right if they don't want to. I mean, that's just a fact of life. But anyway, here it is, proof positive. You can do full penetration bolts, and it's not just here, it's not just me. I've seen this done before, like uh, the Grand Canyon Railway under Robert Franzen's direction. The 4960 received new side sheets back in the 90s, full penetration welded bolts. They're beautiful, uh, the root pass, was done with a TIG welder. And there's a perfect little bubble of weld around them. Uh, Continental Fabricators out of um, uh, St. Louis, Missouri, they built a new boiler. They've built several new boilers, but they do the proper uh, uh, angle chamfer of, of, the, uh, of the joint before welding it out. And you can tell by looking at a boiler when people have kind of skimped by when the weld just seems well, really small around the bolt. It's just like a, a little bubble. You have to visualize what a 45 degree angle that starts an eighth of an inch away from the, from the bolt itself will look like. Anyway, they, they get to be about three quarters of the diameter of the, uh, of the rod itself, assuming it's like, you know, uh, 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 the, the outer wrapper. These are a little bit smaller here that have been finished out because this is only 7 sixteenths plate. So of course it just, they don't have to be as big. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, this little view of of uh, what goes into full penetration welding of bolts, and you know, again, it is not a difficult 
thing to achieve. It just really isn't. I wish it would focus better. There we go. I mean, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful bubbles of weld all the way around the bowl. Hope you guys enjoy.